Used to be a time when motoring enthusiasts could putter about the garage, actually work on their own car. Yes, this would mean being able to access the engine under the hood, change your own oil without taking off half the undercarriage, and putting fluids into the car without needing a color-coded instruction manual to explain which cap is the correct one. You may be able to live that dream again soon, beginning with printing parts for your new car. Let's go motoring. Welcome back, America's car coach, seen and heard nationally, driving, repairing, and discussing where and how the rubber meets the road, the car coach, Lauren Fix. All right, Lauren, I went crazy when I saw this story because I said, no, 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 this can't be. But then again, I'm thinking to myself, yes, it has to eventually happen. A new startup called Startup Local Motors is going to start printing a low-speed battery car for between eighteen dollars and $30,000. It just seems like that's where we're going eventually. Well, believe it or not, I have actually seen that vehicle ah. at the Specialty Equipment Manufacturers Association show that was in Las Vegas last November. Local Motors was there, and during the one-week show, this will tell you how long it takes to make one of these, during the whole week show, they were able to put different types of material, mostly carbon fiber, into like a, a gigantic printer. Now, we're not talking about a printer you would have in your home or even your garage. We're talking about a huge printer that took up most of the lobby in Las Vegas Hilton. And they printed a car, and as each piece came off, they bolted it together, sort of like Legos. And then they, they obviously had a chassis that was already there, and they, it was battery-operated. So, is it possible? Yes. Is it a good-looking car? No. It's oh, no, like no, wait a minute, wait a minute. Okay. We're looking at pictures of it right now. I think that's a pretty slick-looking little car. I, I mean, I guess it is. It, it would be cool if you could make it yourself. You know, you go to this place, print out the color you want, print out the car you want. It's kind of cool. I mean, it reminds me of sort of like a smart car-ish kind of design. Sure. But, but it's a creative idea, and they are a startup, and I give them tons of credit for being the first one. They've done a great job getting the message out that this is a possibility. And believe it or not, of every manufacturer is utilizing this. I was at Ford Motor Company. They were making heads for an engine on a 3D printer. It was <laughs> look and look just like a regular one, but it was a light as a feather. So, again, lighter components. You have better fuel economy because you have to propel less. So the technology is evolving to the point that they're claiming they're going to be able to print organs for a body. I don't know how they're going to do that because that's not my area of expertise. But yeah, no, no, I'd, I'd rather cool. no. I'll, I'll put my money on the car first. Okay, I'll, I'll, yeah, I'll take really the heads and the cam kidney. first. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm not don't here. Ed, would you like the free kidney? It's just been printed. As a matter of fact, I don't, no, 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 I'm <laughs> passing on that. Right one. on the next printer. It's, yeah, it's all next good. next printer. All right, let's move on here. Tesla Motors downgraded to hold from buy at Deutsche Bank because of valuation concerns. How much is this going to hurt Tesla, if at all? Well, you know, it's funny. This, this stock seems to be like Teflon. And even to begin with, even Elon Musk has said, you know, I know it's overvalued, but, you know, it's about making money. And it, I think it's his creativity. If he ever sold off Tesla Motors to any manufacturer, any person, I don't think it would do nearly as well. I think that the stock would just absolutely tank. I think that his followers, just, they have a lot of money, and they just are so passionate about him and his unique perspective and even listening to the annual meeting the, the people and the questions that they were asking were nothing you would ever see in any real business or financial meeting so we shall see the future of tesla uh stock might go up and down but they have a lot of used vehicles that are coming in off of lease we'll see how they plan to get rid of those and with about 90 seconds to go here's something that you and i have kind of hinted at for quite some time but a new study by a team of economists suggests that Electric cars, got to say this very easily for people so they get this, electric mm -hmm. cars actually pollute the atmosphere more in certain areas of the country than the regular gas-guzzling cars. We always, forget mm. where, we always forget where the electricity's coming from, Lauren. Right. I mean, you think no emissions, no pollution, no problem. You know, I just saw a Tesla on the roadway the other day, which was actually stuck on the side and ran out of juice, it said zero emissions. Yeah, well, you know what? Where do you get that electricity from? It doesn't come from just anywhere. And that's just one part of it. You know, you've got smokestacks producing that. And if you take that away, they don't want nuclear power. They don't want you to use coal. You know, there's not enough water, solar, and wind power to power everything we need. And my other part of it that it hasn't been listed in this study is what do you do with those batteries when they're completely depleted? You're not going to send them to the moon, you're not going to bury them in the ground, and you're not going to put them in the ocean, and there's no solution for that. So some millionaire will come up with a solution and will become a trillionaire. But uh, those are things that are also going to be polluted. Because look, think about what you've got in the air from this. Carbon dioxide, yep. sulfur dioxide, nitrogen, 
Well, that's what they're talking about. If you're getting yeah. your electric, if you're getting your electric power for your car from a solar panel, you're still way ahead of things. But otherwise, you do have to plug into a grid. It still has to create the electricity. That's coal powered. That's emissions. Absolutely, and I, of course, they don't think about that. And when Al Gore is making his bazillions of dollars, people that all buy into his perspective. You know, they don't think about the fact that he probably uses more electricity than you and I combined over a whole year. All he's so. got to do is get on his private jet just once, take one trip. That's why I love to hear people like Leonardo DiCaprio say, I'm all for a green earth. They get in their private jet. They fly around yeah. the world. Guess what? Emissions everywhere. It kills everything. Uh, I know, and I, I, I hear you. I, I'm a diesel fan. I think diesel's still one of the great I solutions. knew you are. That's it. I, and it, I just purchased another diesel vehicle. Mine came off of lease, and I'm totally in 100% of Smartest way to go. Check in on what she's got at laurenfix.com. Always a pleasure, Lauren. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you next week, and we'll be back right Absolutely. after this.